And local state lawmakers reacted to President Trump's State of the Union speech. 23 ABC's Alyssa Flores has more on what representatives like David Valadeo had to say. The state of our union is strong. The president today uh, set out a good foot. Congressman David Valadeo responding to President Trump's first State of the Union address, saying every topic mentioned by the president has major ramifications on the Central Valley. The president saying unemployment is down, especially for black and Hispanic communities. The lowest levels in history. Valadeo agreeing, saying he's seen that trend here in the Central Valley. When it comes to tax reform, Valadeo saying the legislation is key to getting America back on track. The biggest tax cuts and reforms in American history. Doubling the standard deduction and giving a family the opportunity to uh, not pay tax on the first $24,000 of income is a big deal. Doubling the child tax credit is a very big deal. Positive effects in the Central Valley. A focal point of Trump's address, immigration reform. Americans are dreamers too. We have proposed new legislation that will fix our immigration laws and support our ICE and Border Patrol agents. Trump presented four pillars of immigration reform. Border security, including the wall, DACA legalization, ending extended family, quote, chain migration, and eliminating the visa lottery. I, I support saying what the boundaries of the four uh, pillars for right now. I, I think all four of them have merit to be discussed. Valadeo praising the president's proposal for allowing more paths to citizenship. A plan to, to have a path to citizenship for 1.8 million people. He doubles uh, and almost triples some of the proposals out there right now. Uh, I, I think that's a pretty strong first step. One topic Valadeo says he wishes the president would have mentioned, water. I know that it's probably not the issue on the minds of all 320 million people in the nation, but it is something that's very important to me in the Central Valley. The congressman overall optimistic about the president unifying the country and Congress. You know that we're not going to always agree with everyone, including the people in the White House, on every issue, but there are areas of agreement. I think there is opportunity for compromise and to come to a good solution, good for all of America. I'm Alyssa Flores for 23ABC News.